Are you looking for a great Airbnb to stay at here in Jacksonville, Florida? We are in this one right here and I have to show you guys around because this place is awesome. Possibly one of the best Airbnbs that we've stayed at. So first of all, we're gonna walk on through up this way to your entryway door and you'll simply have this lock right here. You put in your code and then you can walk right on through. Coming on in, you're greeted in the little foyer right here, a little mat right here to stand on. And you can go two, actually you can go three ways. You can go this way, you can go this way, or you can go this way. So let me start you guys off in the kitchen, how about? So coming this way, you'll have a little closet right here. They just have some cleaning supplies and whatnot in there. And then you're greeted to this nice giant kitchen with all this counter space and a ginormous whirlpool refrigerator freezer right there. So we really loved how much space that this kitchen has and all the amenities that it has. That's nice knife block, you have an air fryer, you have a blender, you have a toaster, a range and stove top with a big giant microwave up here. Plenty of cabinet space up here for cups and bowls and mugs and uh, glassware, plates, everything that you need to have a nice meal. And then they also have some empty cabinets. We filled half of this. The other half is either stuff that other people have left here that you can just kind of take as you want, uh, or it's the person who, who uh, rents this place out and just has some stuff in here. I'm not too sure. It does have a nice... A good double sink right here with an overhead faucet uh, right here to be able to wash everything with, with the nozzle that moves. Also has a garbage disposal in there. It's a must for any Airbnb so that you're not stuck at the house washing your uh, dishes by hand. And then you also have a, the dishwasher right there as well. So it has pretty much everything that you need as a, for a full kitchen. You also have down here, Pots and pans and glassware, baking dishes, all the things that you need to create a meal for your family while you are out on away uh, in Jacksonville. And then you have a couple of other storage options right here with more things that they've left for you. So there's plenty of space to make yourself at home. I love this little nook right here. This is my work nook. So they have all the cabinets up top here, so if you need to organize some things and whatnot, but I mainly just throw down all my computer stuff right there, hard drives, my bag, whatever I need, and I have a little bit of extra space over here. I can move these things out of the way. If I need to like write down something with paper and pen, I can do that, or if I have more things. And then I uh, take one of these chairs right here to be able to utilize right here. But they also have this nice giant dining room table. We're a family of five, and so having a nice table that we can actually sit down and have a meal at, breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever, there's plenty of room here for all of us to be able to sit down together. Love this area right here. And then there's a little coffee stand right here. We put some snacks on here. There's the coffee maker, all the things you need to make coffee. They actually have some pet bowls down here too because they allow uh, for pets to come here, which I thought was super cool. I've never seen that in an Airbnb before yet. And you got a little Roomba right there if you want to do some cleanup, which you might want to do while you're in Jacksonville. If you're planning on going to the beach and sand gets everywhere, you can simply just put the robot going while you're out uh, and it'll clean up all the sand for you, which is fantastic. So this is a look at the kitchen. The kitchen is fantastic, but let's continue. You see that there's another closet right here. This is just kind of another utility closet. They keep some of their cleaning supplies, trash bags and whatnot. There's this room right here. You can open up and go in. This is the garage. We didn't actually lift the door up and down, uh, so I don't know if that works. I'm assuming it does because it has the uh, lift master on there. We did read in the Airbnb listing that usually somebody's, the owner's vehicle is usually in here. It's not for us. I don't know if he's out or whatever, but uh, it's very nice to have this outdoor space right here. It's also some beach stuff that you can uh, utilize as well. There's four beach chairs. There's a bucket of beach stuff right here. This is some kind of a beach table, some kind of inflatable thing right there. There's even a beach umbrella with a little bucket too if you wanna bring that out to the beach if you have kids, which is awesome. Looks like they just upgraded their washer and dryer. I believe these are mono ones or the old ones. They just upgraded to the Samsung ones right here. This is an awesome washer and dryer. We've been using the heck out of it. Works extremely well, very easy to use. Really loving that. 
and they even have some extra cleaning supplies up there for you. Nice big hot water tank in here. So if you're coming like we are with a family of five, you're gonna need lots of hot water. So you got a good size one right there. Then of course your AC unit right there is a train. So that's fantastic. It's nice to have this extra room right here whenever the car's not here because um, we bring things like ice chests and whatnot with us so you can simply kind of unload all that type of stuff. But really like how they have this uh, extra utility room right there. So coming back, this is back into the foyer. And then uh, we'll go to this section next, which is uh, a bedroom back here. You have a nice mattress. This is one of these, I looked at it. It is a Lucid uh, hybrid mattress, those memory foam mattress. I got such a great night's sleep on those types of mattresses right there. The kids actually slept in this one and they said that they got a great night's sleep on here as well. Um, but in our bedroom, which we'll get to in a minute, they have another Lucid mattress, which I've been getting a great night's sleep on. Nice little bedside table right here, so you can put some odds and ends down. Plenty of closet space up here. Even have some additional sheets up there, hangers to hang things if you need to utilize that. And they have a nice little uh, window, uh, windows in the corner right here to let in some nice natural light from the entryway and from the front porch. Again, it, all, it has all the uh, plants at, out in the front there as well which is also another, it's just nice to see that. Got a little mirror right here if you need to utilize that. Uh, in here you have a nice little bathroom. It's actually, I need to put that back up. That fell on me as I was doing some stuff in here, but you got a nice mirror right there. Hey guys, how's it going? You have a nice big medicine cabinet right here. So if you want to put away some of your stuff, you have plenty of room to put all your things. Plus there's another little medicine cabinet right here as well. So there's plenty of space to stow away stuff, which I really love. Got a nice uh, Kohler toilet right there. Got a nice little sink with the faucet right there. Looks very nice and elegant, modern looking. Got a good uh, shower right here, bathtub shower. Got a nice deep tub. So if you like to soak in the tub, you can do that or you can take a shower. But I cannot wait to show you guys the shower in the other bedroom. Keep watching so y'all can see it. It is amazing. But this one looks great right here. It's perfect for the kids. We're able to hang up towels and bathing suits and whatnot for whenever we go out. Definitely a fantastic bathroom right there just to have in the hallway for extra guests. Now, you have your main living room area right here. This place is huge. It's basically two places right here. Like you have this area right here where your kids can play. They can dump out toys. They can color, uh, you know, coloring books, all that. They can play games, all that type of space right here. You can unload some stuff underneath this nice little uh, partition between the kitchen and here. So, you know, keys, phones, Kleenex, games, chocolate, all that type of, you can just kind of unload right there. You can put some bags down below here that won't get in the way because you have plenty of room right here. And then the other section is kind of like the more living area where you have couches, little chase lounge with that couch right there. You have a nice coffee table right here. Big TV right there. I don't know how big it is. Probably like a 55, 65 inch or something like that. So if you want to utilize the TV, got a nice TV stand and all this space right here for the drawers that are underneath here that you can utilize as well. So I love this, uh, this area right here. This is perfect. Then coming into here, you have another little room. You have a little day bed right here. This is the coolest day bed though. L let me show you guys how this thing works. This thing pulls out right here. Pull this whole thing out. And what we have here is two mattresses. So you take this mattress and you put it on top of here and you have basically, I believe it's like a king size bed right here. So you could easily fit another adult couple on this bed right here. They have plenty of storage right there. And it's just a great use of space right here. They have plenty of cabinets right here on the side that uh, have bars. So it's like a wardrobe cabinet all the way down all the way to the top. And you have another one over here as well. So you could utilize this easily as a whole nother bedroom. You just gotta keep in mind that it is open with uh, being so close to the living room right there. But it's also got a little window unit, uh, window um, sitting area right here. We've been using it to put down these packing cubes and whatnot, so that's been great. Little table tray. The outside, let me go ahead and show you all the outside right now since we're right here coming out stores into the backyard. Got a little patio out here, which is nice. Some more greenery right there. You got some fun Florida stuff right here with the seashells and the sea uh, seahorses right here. So it's fun. 
and it wraps all the way around here on the other side of this window so you could really sit outside and enjoy the outdoors they even have some lights strung up right here that you can turn on at night if you want to do that a little uh gardening stand right here you got a hose so if you need to utilize the uh, outdoor water you can do that as well i actually use that for our ice chest that i needed to clean out there's a storage shed out there that's it's locked up so you can't get into it there's plenty of grass space out here for kids to play they can jump on all these stones out here if they want to play you know floors lava type stuff that's some things that our kids like to do nice little table right here honestly if you wanted to you could probably eat out on this table because it has all these stones down here and then it has the plants right there and just a nice little garden scape out here i really liked it it's very um very comforting very uh enjoyable it's all privacy fenced in and everything too so love that love that and even you can even go back here i didn't even see this on the side of the house nice little boardwalk area some more stepping stones coming all the way on out to looks like a garden hose right here and that leads out to the front yard which i already showed you guys got a nice little bench right there to sit down on this of course is your train unit kind of hidden by the bushes too which is nice let's go on back through the house let me go to the main room now this is the master bedroom oh by the way this fan is awesome i love it um this right here look first of all Look at how much space you have in here. I, you could almost fit a whole nother bed right here. If you wanted to, you could bring an air mattress, put an air mattress down right here for somebody else to sleep on, a toddler, a child, something like that. But this bed is huge. I actually, this is the Lucid bed that I was talking about, like I did in the other room. It's got that good memory foam mattress on there, so it really molds to you. So you get a super comfortable night's sleep on there. And uh, it's huge as well. I actually looked up the size of this mattress it's like a 79 by 74 i believe i not too sure what these exact dimensions of a california king are but i'm almost positive that this is at least a king maybe even a california king because i was sleeping on this side my wife sleeps right here and sometimes our three-year-old joins us and there was plenty of room even for him in there you have a nice nightstands on either side with little lamps on it which is fantastic nice full-length mirror right here hey guys how's it going again and then of course you have a little uh, window right here and you can open it up to let some light in if you'd like or you can uh, you know, draw up the curtains if you want as well. Big closet space here, plenty of room to be able to hang some things, put them some things up top here or drop some things along the bottom. It's a two door one, so you can do it on this side as well. It all connects to one, it's just they have two doors right there. So plenty of room in the closet. I just absolutely love how much space we have in this room. Fan works great by the way. Coming into here, this is the bathroom. This is what I really wanted to show you guys because this place is awesome. Let me turn on some lights for you guys. Let me turn off that one. So first of all, you have a door, of course, and then you have all this counter space right here. You can see how we kind of scattered out. Got a nice glacier bay faucet right there. Works really well. Got a nice big sink right here and plenty of storage space all along here, whether it's the drawers or the cabinets underneath, you have plenty of room to kind of spread out and make yourself at home. Nice vanity light up top here. Got a nice toilet right here. This is a Glacier Bay toilet. Or no, it's a Water Ridge toilet right there. Works well. They even have a little squatty potty right here. But this right here, check out this shower. It is huge. I love how big this shower is. You have so much room in here to be able to actually take a really nice shower. You can even put two people in there at one time. You have kids, you gotta throw them all in there, get all the sand off of them and whatnot. And then also this shower head right here, I think I might buy this for me because I love the pressure coming out of here. Let me turn it on for you guys. That is some pressure right there. like. If you get sand in your hair, you want to be able to have this kind of pressure coming out to be able to dig down into your scalp to be able to get all that sand out. And that's what this thing does right here. I love that shower head. If y'all are looking for a good one, man. It's, uh, I believe it's made by Moin, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Moin, right there on the inside. So, great bathroom uh, shower area right here. Great bathroom, honestly. You have so much space right here. Nice big mirror. Hey, guys. So definitely recommend that. Now, Jacksonville is awesome. There's so many things to do here. 
including going to the beach. The location of this Airbnb is less than 10 minutes from the beach, from Jack's Beach, which is awesome and all the things that there is to do in Jacksonville and Jack's Beach and that whole area, love it. You have all the state parks that are nearby, a few national monuments, national memorial sites, all that type of stuff. So there's tons to do in the area. If you guys are looking for an awesome Airbnb to stay at while you're in Jacksonville, definitely come and check out this one right here. Highly recommended. Thank y'all for watching. Go travel somewhere and dad out.